Good morning. This is Greg at the Pocatello National Weather Service office with the Eastern Idaho Planning Briefing for Wednesday, January 6th. Uh, the weather impact summary. Uh, we're going to have two weak Pacific systems, which will bring some light snow tonight and Thursday, as well as Friday into Saturday. Uh, we're not expecting significant impacts. Uh, some mountain areas will see one to three inches with each system. In valley locations, probably an inch or less with each system. Uh, looking at the current satellite imagery, uh, generally some high clouds starting to move into western Idaho. We do have some lower clouds and, and patchy fog across the upper Snake River Highlands, uh, traveling north of Idaho Falls and Interstate 15, uh, but overall not widespread. Uh, fog across those regions and you can see we do have a this first system showing up now uh, pushing into the Pacific Northwest with extensive moisture and that will be moving through the area tonight and Thursday uh, the weather impact overview again some fog in the valleys of the eastern highlands we are expecting some light snow tonight Wood River sawtooth area and then generally light snow uh, across all of southeast Idaho Thursday and Friday, again, not significant impacts, perhaps some minor travel impacts in the eastern highlands and the Sawtooth region. Uh, but overall, I think both are going to produce generally light snow. And as we get into later in the day, Saturday and Sunday, uh, should be dry as we get into the weekend. Here is the snowfall amount for Thursday. Again, uh, you can see some 1 to 3 inch amounts. Uh, along State Highway 75, uh, higher amounts uh, in the higher elevations, possibly exit up to 3 or 4 inches. And again, some accumulations in the Island Park area, 1 to 3 inches, uh, generally in the northern parts of uh, U.S. Highway 20. And again, across the lower elevations, the southeast highlands, generally less than an inch expected Thursday. On Friday, again, not a not expecting significant amounts, generally one to two inches in the mountains, less than an inch elsewhere. In the grand total as we look Wednesday, today, generally tonight through Saturday. Again, some very high elevations could see three to six amounts over the period, but generally, again, one to three inches across the mountains and under an inch uh, for the lower elevations. High temperatures today, generally just a bit above normal, low 30s uh, in the Snake River Plain to around 40 in the Burley area, generally 20s to low 30s in the mountains. And those temperatures will remain fairly constant through Friday, generally 30s, Snake River Plain, 20s to low 30s in the mountains. And again, same thing on Friday. So again, very little change in the temperatures through the period. Quick look at the long-term forecast, uh, January 13th through 19th. Uh, the general trend is a better chance of below normal temperatures. So for the most part, staying in this dry trend we've been having and temperatures expected to uh, have a much better chance of above normal conditions with uh, an upper level ridge expected to build in uh, that middle part of January. So again, uh, repeating the weather impact summary, uh, some weak Pacific systems uh, both tonight and Thursday and uh, Friday into Saturday. Again, generally light snow is expected with this, uh, one to three inches in some mountain areas with each system, but generally less than an inch uh, with both of these systems for the low elevations. That will conclude the briefing for today. If you have any questions, contact us at the number listed here 24 hours a day or go to our website uh, listed below that. Thank you and everyone have a nice day.